Welcome, everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? We're learning how to select the most efficient method of finding a solution to a system of linear equations, how to find the slope and y-intercept of a function from an equation, how to graph linear functions using slope and y-intercept, how to graph multiple linear functions on the same plane and find the point of intersection, how to solve systems of equations algebraically using the elimination method, and how to solve systems of equations algebraically using the substitution method. How are we learning it? Through the solving systems of equations by substitution notes and the solving systems of equations by substitution assignment, as well as the system is broken assignment. When can we use this information? To find economic solutions to financial problems such as income versus expenses and supply versus demand, and to determine the best way to complete a task when there are multiple ways to complete the task, such as putting up a new fence in the backyard. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of 4 on the solving systems of equations by substitution assignment and a 4 on the system is broken assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll fill out your Get It Started. Once you've completed your Get It Started, we'll go over it together and answer any questions that you may have. Then you'll move on to the IXL activity called Solving Systems of Equations by Substitution. This is an activity we've already done, so if you've already gotten a smart score of 80, you'll move on and work on the System is Broken assignment on Desmos. If you have not gotten a smart score of 80, you'll finish up that IXL activity. At the end of class, we'll go back over the learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your Before You Go. Your only homework for tonight is to continue working on the Systems of Linear Equations study guide and any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's talk now about how to sign in to Desmos to complete your work. So what we're going to do is you're going to click on the link to go to the assignment and it should take you to a page that looks kind of like this. And right here where it says sign in with Google, we're going to click there. And it's going to pop up with our email accounts. You're going to click on your school email account and it should already have you logged in because you should have already been logged in using Google Classroom. From there, I'm just going to click start the activity and it will take me into the assignment and allow me to begin. So that's how you will log in to Desmos using Google. Let's take a look now at the system is broken assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here that takes us to the Desmos activity. Go ahead and click on that link. And it should take us to a page that looks like this. We'll go ahead and click start the activity. This activity begins with the learning goals and success criteria as well. We'll go ahead and click next. There's a video here for you to watch about the system being broken. So go ahead and watch that video. Roaring for their champion. The two men are walking towards the center of the ring. It's an unbelievable sight to see. They're toe to toe. The Russian towers above the American. It's a true case of David and Goliath here. It's unbelievable the, the, the condition of both men but the Russian champion. I must break you. Oh, Here's the bell. The war is on. This is the last round. To the end. Which one of these magnificent fighters would be standing at the end of this round? Snaps out a stiff jab. And another. Good. Good. Another. Rocky taking punishment. Trying to get inside. He's completely exhausted. Come on, Pat. What are you waiting for? Get out. Right.
Uh, let's take a look at our assignment. It says you have just opened up a restaurant and are examining your production costs and profits. At the start of the month, it costs you $500. Every day that you operate, the cost of production is $200. On average, your business yields $300 per day in income. Answer the following questions about your business. So it says write an equation that represents the cost of production of the restaurant. So how much does it cost? Well, at the start of the month, we know it costs us $500. So Y is the total. So Y equals, and it costs us $200 per day. So 200 times X number of days, plus the 500 at the start of the month. So there's our production costs. The second part says write an equation that represents the income. Well, again, Y equals, and we can see that we're making $300 per day. So 300 X. So it says, given the graph to the left, which represents these two equations, find the number of days it will take for the restaurant to begin to be profitable. So where do we become profitable? So right here, the red line represents our costs. The green line represents our profit. So we're still below our spending costs all the way up until this point right here, which is right around $1,500. And it, that's after five days. So we would state in words where that is and how we know. Then it says calculate the profit after eight days. So at eight days right here, what's the gap between these two? So you'll go ahead and solve plugging eight in for X for both of these and figure out where that occurs. Now on this one, it says we experienced a plumbing issue and have to make a repair. So we're going to go ahead and make that repair, and it costs us $100. It says, state how this might affect our graph. So how is that going to change the graph? Well, this is going to get to here and then shift up and then keep going. So you'll state that, and then it says, find the new point of profitability. So you'll go ahead and state that there. Once you've done that, there's a video here at the end for you to watch uh, from... Black Panther, so go ahead and watch that video. My name is King T'Challa, son of King T'Chaka. I am the sovereign ruler of the nation of Wakanda. And for the first time in our history, we will be sharing our knowledge and resources with the outside world. Wakanda will no longer watch from the shadows. We cannot, we must not. We will work to be an example of how we as brothers and sisters on this earth should treat each other. Now more than ever, the illusions of division threaten our very existence. We all know the truth. More connects us than separates us. But in times of crisis, the wise build bridges while well, the foolish build barriers. We must find a way to look after one another as if we were one single tribe. We sold your respect, King T'Challa. What can a nation of farmers have to offer the rest of the world? And then when you're done, we'll go back to our Google form and click next. This will take you to your before you go. Go ahead and fill out your before you go and then submit your work on Google Classroom.